Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today, I got a scoop for you. Actually, I got two bits of tidbits of news for you. One, amazing! I don't think anybody has this news yet. And the other bit of news is something that has been announced, but kind of semi-secretly, no huge announcements made there yet. So, stick with me to the end to hear the scoop, delicious news. But first off, well, both of them are Chanel related. And both of them are fragrance related, more or less. Why did I say this? Well, let's get to the first bit of news. First and foremost, um, Chanel has not has announced by not announcing, typical for them, they always do that, uh, a reintroduction as a limited edition for now. This is alleged because I'm not so sure whether or not this will be a limited edition, but it always begins as a limited edition. I guess it's a marketing strategy to see if something sells or not. Does anybody remember the 505 nail polish particulier, the kind of chocolatey color tone that was a limited edition? People went crazy for it. And then Chanel produced it and is now introduced and still available in its regular assortment of nail polishes. Well, this could be a similar case. It is not a fragrance and it is a fragrance. What it is is a reintroduction of a product that Mademoiselle Chanel created in the 20s. And this is amazing. Whenever we have heritage of Chanel being brought back to us, I get goosebumps all over. So this is, a, a, what a, I'm, I don't know, around 1926 or 23, or I don't know when it was, but we're talking 20s, mid-20s. She created a huile de jasmine, or like a jasmine oil or a jasmine liquid, uh, which, uh, which is a, a sort of a special refreshing and lightening uh, liquid for the face. Of course, if you got the dough, you could do it all over your body, obviously, but it's going to be a 50 ml bottle, um, reminiscent of the Les Exclusives bottles, but in 50 milliliter with a twirly stopper and it's a splash. It's a transparent liquid and the jasmine comes from the Chanel Grasse Plantations. So it's going to be a very, very special limited jasmine and it is a reintroduction to Coco Chanel's own, you know, vision of beauty and how to enhance beauty and how to take care of yourself. Almost a sort of, let's say, Chanelified or not aromatherapy, but you would call it Chanelotherapy, if you may, with this particular flower. The text that I have read on this particular uh, product is that most of the ingredients are natural, so it doesn't say that all of them are. If you wish to see the beautiful picture of this gorgeous bottle, especially standing next to its a counterpart from the 20s, from the Chanel archives, you could check out the link in the description box down below. The link will lead you to the photo I posted on my Super Jacob, all spelled together, Super Jacob Instagram profile. Follow me there for all the scoop and all the news. Now, it should be coming out in March, and it should be limited to Chanel boutiques only, and perhaps some exclusive Chanel kind of counters that sell as exclusives. Mind you, this is not a fragrance. It will have a smell, and it's probably going to have some sort of jasmine-y smell. It's not a fragrance. It's, it's a facial product, right? Like a, Kind of like a beauty product. Um, but nevertheless, it will have the beautiful bottle reminiscent of the Les Exclusives, and it will be on sale in Chanel boutiques and in some of the Chanel counters that sell the Les Exclusives uh, range. And it will be a limited edition for now. Price range should be around, but this is also alleged, speculative, for 50 ml, around $120 to $150 or and euro. Okay, now here's the scoop. Move in closer, guys, uh, because uh, this is a biggie. Oh, is it big? Okay, so <laughs> I have just reserved, uh, reserved, received uh, high intel from deep down inside the Chanel realm that a new fragrance is coming our way. I did my research on the net. I couldn't find anything. So... Might be true, might not be true, but my source is highly reliable. There's a new fragrance coming this summer and probably first in, you know, France and then the rest of the world. 
and it, it's not going to be as exclusives. Allegedly, it will be a mainstream release, not a flanker, or so I've been told. Now, of course, Olivier Polge, you know, is the maker, whatever. Fingers crossed it's going to be a good one. But the title, the name, what's the name of this? This is what really got me going and sizzling. So the name of the fragrance is... I'm not going to say... <laughs> No, that's not the name of the fragrance. I'm not going to say. I want you to guess. Well, I'll tell you. But actually, okay, it's never been used for a fragrance before. And yet, it is part of her name. But it has been used as a name for a nail polish by Chanel. I give you five seconds to guess. I can't do five. I get five. So the name is Gabrielle. I mean, simple. You could say, oh, I was expecting who knows what. No, but there has never been a Gabrielle fragrance. There has been nail polish. Gabrielle named, called Gabrielle with, I don't know what color it was, some red tone, I guess. But never a fragrance. We have had uh, Mademoiselle. We have had Coco. We have had Coco Mademoiselle. Uh, we, ha we have had Coco Noir. But... I am really excited about the fact that this is Gabrielle because it's going back to the roots. You know what I mean? This is Gabrielle. To me, it echoes of something before Chanel, an innocent time or a time of big struggles or a time where, when she had to fight her way from being an orphan and, you know, fatherless, motherless child of, with no money to, to building an empire back in the day when women had no chance, really, let alone orphans, poor women. That's the Gabrielle I envision when somebody tells me Gabrielle. Before the Mademoiselle, before the Coco, you know what I mean? So I, I would envision a, a fragrance, and of course I'm getting my hopes high, you never know. But I'm envisioning a, fra a, a fragrance with wind, freshness, you know, like wind of change, of turmoil, but of hope. You know, I see streaks of sunlight and I see the wind and I smell the ocean breeze or Mediterranean breeze. And I, I have a coolness in there. I have cold in there. I have fear in there. But I have also power. I have anger in there, you know, and I have sophistication and I have the love of perfect trimmed crystalline cut etched sophistication like her suits and hat or her hats. She began with hats, how her hats were and then. Finally, later on, her tailoring. I wish Jacques Polge would have put his paw into this concoction. But I am nevertheless super hopeful. Anything that carries the name Gabrielle on it, I will definitely, definitely look forward to it with an open, with the openest of hearts. That's why I'm wearing the Chanel wheat uh, brooch because, you know, it brings good luck. It brings good fortune. Um, I wear it very rarely, but like to deliver the, these news or this news, it warranted. It warranted. Well, guys, let me know what you think about the possibilities, the eternal possibilities of how this fragrance might smell and the fact that it is a mass release and not part of allegedly the Les Exclusives range. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. There's a lot of information today. Oh, I feel so good to deliver the goods to all y'alls because um, maybe you have even more information to share with me. So whatever you got, I need my intelligentsia to inform you of everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Share this video. If you liked it, thumb it up. If you liked it, liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Never give up on Gabrielle Love. See you all soon. Take care. Bye.